you could look at anybody walking down the street and I bet you they'd be on at least three prescriptions. And if they're above 50, they're probably on more. I will prescribe blood pressure, I will prescribe antidepressants, I will prescribe lots of medications. But the one I almost never prescribe is the cholesterol pills. If I walk in and are you worried if I have high cholesterol or? I don't know how cholesterol got put out <laughs> as the cause of heart disease. You don't watch much TV, I guess. Well, no, I, I, got, I got the party line. I got the memos. It's not the cholesterol that causes the, the blockage in the artery that causes the heart attack. It's when that cholesterol in the wall breaks down and creates an inflammatory reaction that recruits all the platelets to make a block there. So the cholesterol itself can be stable. It's the inflammation that causes this plaque, if you will, to rupture and create this kind of terminal event. And it turns out that Lipitor and all of those statin drugs are anti-inflammatories and they lower cholesterol. Most of the pills that we take, they work by kind of blocking the action of another protein or something in our body. And it's a temporary effect when the body metabolizes the drug, everything is as it was. Not so with cholesterol pills. The cholesterol pills are kind of, should be thought of in the category of chemotherapy. They block your body's ability to manufacture a vital nutrient, cholesterol. Cholesterol is in the body for a reason. Cholesterol is, is the precursor to all of the hormones. Testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, DHEA, cortisol, that all comes from cholesterol. So if you block that, you kind of lose the body's ability to make all that stuff. So then you have every chronic fatigue. So now I got chronic fatigue? Well, eventually you elbow, might. Fibromyalgia? Exactly. Your body is now blunted in its ability to heal and grow. And so the statins have been associated with cancers. They've been associated with neurological problems, probably because your brain is 15% cholesterol by weight. And when you block the brain's ability to manufacture cholesterol, well, does it lose 15%? <laughs> I mean, it could. I've had several patients in the past few years on statins and no other drug develop these very rare, weird infections and have problems that I don't see in most people not taking this drug, unless they're very, very old or otherwise immune suppressed. It causes problems that are not always reversible. And then you go back to, well, are there other agents that are safer that might be anti-inflammatories? The answer is yes, fish oils. And more important than something you can add to your body, what is in your body that we could take away from it? What's causing the inflammation? It's foods that you're allergic to. It's a lack of vitamin D. It's a lack of some of the good hormones or an overabundance of the other hormones. I would rather have people change their diet. It's just like, you know, fixing a clock. You just put things in place and it starts working again. I'm not saying there's not a use for it, but um, I challenge anybody to go to their cardiologist and um, not take Lipitor and see what they tell you.